knock, knock. Who's there? It's Tank. Tank who? Thank you for that pizza. I guess that's what I think a bear sounds like. Hank, the 225 kilogram black bear, is on a pizza bender, and he's been breaking into North American homes to get his fix. Your home could be next. Why does he keep breaking into homes? And are you ready for him? Tag, you're it. Here's everything you need to know to get one up on Hank the Tank. Hank is one of 900,000 black bears living in the heavily wooded areas and dense bushlands of North America. He's about 100 kilograms heavier than most other bears. And he's also an expert at breaking and entering. But mostly, it's food he wants. Since July 2021, Hank has broken into 28 homes around the city of South Lake Tahoe in California. The local police received over 100 calls reporting home invasions by a black bear. Mm. <laughs> Hank has weaponized his bulk to force open garages and doors, but no humans were hurt during the filming of this footage. Once inside, Hank usually just sits and eats in peace. Local authorities have now realized that Hank isn't working alone. There are at least two other black bears in the area that have taken to this life of crime. The local police and wildlife authorities have sprung into action. Paintballs, tasers, and sirens were used. Except guess what? Nothing startles these guys. And it isn't really their fault. Bears have lived close to human habitations for centuries. Considering their high motivation for food, it's not very surprising that they figured out how to work all sorts of doors. They're also incredibly intelligent. A 2012 study found that black bears can count as well as some primates can. So yeah, spare yourself the expense of that combination lock on your door. A bear's sense of smell is also about as good as it gets in the animal kingdom. In preparation for hibernation, black bears will sniff their way to consume 20,000 calories worth of food in the fall. That's four times more than their usual intake. During this time, a bear can spend as much as 20 hours every day eating and gain as much as 45 kilograms in a week. Given a choice, a bear will always prefer its own all-natural diet. It turns to human food sources only when it can't find what it's looking for or if it develops a taste for your high-protein pet food, garbage, or tasty barbecue grills. Well, I can't blame them there. It doesn't help that across the globe, humans have been steadily encroaching on bear habitats, hampering their way of life. The freedom of remote working during the COVID-19 pandemic brought more inexperienced humans closer to nature and into bear territory. These city-dwelling humans were a lot less careful with their garbage disposal. With year-round access to food, Hank and friends could skip hibernating. So what should you do when Hank or his buddies come calling? Figure out what door they came through and ensure it's clear for them to leave from. Don't back down and make sure Hank knows it's not a free-for-all by making as much noise as you can. Flash some bright lights. If your unwanted guest is in your yard, you could use a garden hose. Try throwing a small rock at its rump, but don't try any of that on a grizzly bear. Give it all the room it wants and call a conservation officer immediately. But what's to become of Hank? Authorities have decided not to euthanize the tank. Thank goodness. He was last spotted in March 2022, and he and his friends have not been active for weeks. If caught, they will be tagged for easier tracking and released somewhere with a better supply of bear food that doesn't require foraging through your cupboards. Not everyone out there wants to keep Hank and other wild animals out of their homes. What happens when people domesticate wild animals? Find out in another episode of Crazy Creatures. Breaking into your home and raiding your refrigerator is what some black bears do, especially Hank the Tank. And that's why they're crazy creatures. <laughs>